down. I'm going to face, this is my, this is my right and this is my left. So I'm going to go to my right, which is your left. We're going to sit in a diamond leg position, which means your feet are together, your knees are out to the side like a butterfly position. We're going to take a moment while everyone is slowly arriving here. Um, joining me on the screen. We don't know how many of you will be up. Normally it kind of increases as we go. So just take a time, have a sit, arrive on your mat. Diamond leg position, feet together, knees are out like butterfly here. You can just place your hands on the knee. Lifting tall through the spine. Taking a moment, you may close your eyes. And just taking a moment for our body to arrive on a mat, to arrive in your room, in your space, to arrive in the Zoom room space. Taking your time for the body to really settle into the practice or the practice that we are about to start. We, start, we shall breathe in, expanding your rib cage as much as you can. And then as we exhale, you take all the air out and just deliberately at the final end breath, you're going to draw that abdominal in, warming up our transverses and abdominals. And we in breath. And we exhale. Inhale, feeling a sense of lightness through the spine. And exhale, a sense of grounding through the pelvis and strong through the center. Let's do two more breaths here. We inhale. And we exhale. For those of you just arrived to the time, arrive on the mat. And last one, we in breath. And we exhale. Sitting tall. Lighten the shoulders, light in the neck, light in your jaw. And open the eyes if you'll have your eyes closed before. Take your arms forward here, guys. Okay. Now, inhale, we lengthen through the spine. And then as we exhale, we draw the abdominal, gently press the feet towards each other and take yourself into that beautiful round back. You know, when I say round back, you join the abdominal, you bring the upper body forward. Beautiful, Donna. And then as here, as we inhale, lift the spine, turn the palms up, open the palms side to the side, we slice and take our upper spine into a thoracic extension. And then we take our arms forward again, palms facing each other. Gently press the feet, draw the belly in around the spine into that C curve. Taking your time into that warm up. In, lift the spine up, palms up, slice through the space. Extend higher than this in the upper back. And then palms face forward and arms face each other. Round back, C curve. Pull back in the double, but reach forward in the upper spine. And lift through the spine, palms up, slice out. Arching the upper back, supporting it. And let's do one more time. Palms forward, round back, curling. So I'm actually, my legs are actually active here. And I inhale, lift the spine. And arch back, upper back, slash through the space. And come back, arms forward, and stay. Take your hands on the knees. I'm just going to face you. What we're going to do is a lateral displacement of the ribcage. We're going to go to your left. And we're going to slide the ribcage. You can face where you are. You can face if you want to. And then come back to center. And then over to your right. So your pelvis is anchored firmly to the floor. And come back to center. And over to the side. So gliding the ribcage. And center. Over to the side. As far as you can. And center. And out. And center. And a slide and center. And a slide out 
good, and come back to center, and then glide over to the side, make it nice and juicy, beautiful, back to center, one more each side, out, and center, last one, and then we're going to add the circle, so we're going to go to your left, we're going to take our spine forward, and over to your right, round back, over to your left, extend, and a round back. So we are just creating a circular movement through the rib cage. Over to the side, forward, over to the side and back. So keep it nice and smooth and gooey as much as you can. Anchor the pelvis. It's really just moving your rib cage girdle, which is your middle back, round and round. We do one more time and we come back to the center. And then we go to the other side. So we start over to the opposite direction, come forward and over to your left and back and round. If you have watched Jackney movie, you know, he does all this kind of like drunken kind of Kung Fu style. That's what we're trying to do, but with elegance. So we're going to go around, smooth, easy, mobilizing the rib cage, a movement that we don't really do often, but when we do it, it feels amazing and really free up your diaphragm and allows you to breathe easier. So we do one more time. And back to the center and still. Take your hands on the shoulder, elbows to elbows, take it up. And shoulder rotation, inhale as you take the elbows up. Exhale, basically I just want you to breathe Every time you move the elbows, out and around, and then up and around. Don't forget to sit tall at all time. One more, and then we reverse. We touch the elbow down, up and around. Touch the elbows, perhaps up and around, and then up and around. Two more. That's it. Last one. Come back. To the side, hold that, hold the center. Now we'll do spine twist. We'll take to your right, double breath. Inhale to the middle, other way. And center. Anchor the pelvis firmly to the floor. Just allow the spine above the pelvis to rotate. Follow your eyes through with your rotation. And your neck aligned with the spine. Exhale. Inhale, we grow tall. Exhale, rotate. We double pulse at the end range. And we lift. Exhale. We lift. Exhale. Last set here. Exhale. Last one. Back to center here. Take your arms up to the side. We'll go to your right for a lateral bend. Now soften the bottom elbow. Take the top arm over. A nice side stretch here. We're going to pull back in the abdominal. We're going to rotate the spine over the thighs. So we are in flexion and rotation. Come back facing to the front towards your feet. Lengthen the arms and come back up. And lateral or side bending. Um, top up over. Make sure you don't rest down. Make sure you don't collapse. I want you to lift the spine away from the gravity. And then rotate. And come back, face forward, and lift through the spine, and use the oblique to come up. Let's do one more time. And side bending here. Now, do not let the gravity take your weight. Resist it. So, side bending over. Beautiful, everybody. And then round as we rotate. Pull back in your dome. And rotate back, face me. Coming up. And upright. Last one. Side bending here. And over. Thank you. Ground the pelvis and rotate the trunk. And rotate back. Face me. Lift through the spine and come up. Take your arms up towards the sky. Palms facing each other. I'm just going to turn myself so we know what's happening. So ideally, we're going to have a straight line down through the side of your body. Right. 
Energize the spine, we'll lengthen up through the ceiling. Now pull the arms back, we call the shoulder flexion. Pull back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring the arm across in front of you, hands on the shoulder like so. Lifting through the spine and we're going to flat back hinge. We exhale, we draw the center nice and tight here. We inhale, we lean back like an inclined chair. Exhale, we come back. And inhale, we lean back, diagonally. I want you to work that spinal muscle. Engage it as you come back and forward. And again, inhale, lean back, chest up, diagonally towards the ceiling there. Exhale, upright, two more times. Inhale, gently press the feet to each other here, open up the chest. Exhale, come up upright. Last one, inhale, tall with the spine. That's it everybody, exhale, come back upright. Grab the hands underneath the thigh. We are going to roll back and position ourselves to the floor. We start with a round back. Then we roll back. You can straighten the arm. Get that secret position here. Hold. In breath. Exhale. Come up. Over forward. And we'll lift through the spine. And exhale. We're going to run back. And then we're going to bring the pelvis back. From the hip joint until the arms are straightened here. Make sure you really get a good control of the abdominal, and then we'll pull ourselves over the hip and we'll lift. If you want a bit more challenge, you can take your arms forward and you're going to see her. And we're going to roll back, go to a point where you are still in good control of the abdominal, then exhale, come over the pelvis. We lift through the spine, we go one more time, we round, we roll back, that's it, roll back, roll back, roll back. Now from here, turn the legs parallel, lower the spine down, and then do head down and chest down to the floor. Just adjust the feet position for the pelvic curl. Approximately about 45 in the knee, approximately and half your feet Hip width distant apart, so center of your hip to your heels. Take deep breath, arms are reaching long. As we exhale, we use abdominal to imprint. Letting the lower back down to the floor, curl the pelvis, then press the feet and articulate the spine up. All the way to the bridge, your abs are working here. Now at the final end range, press your arms down, press the shoulders and lift the pelvis up a little higher. In breath. Exhale, we roll down, vertebra by vertebra, painting number one with your spine on the floor and release back to your starting position and again in breath. Exhale, deep abdominal contraction and we press the feet, then the hamstring comes on and help you to articulate the spine up. Your abdominal is active at all times, you're not pushing out up with your spine. Exhale, we roll the spine down. Articulate vertebra by vertebra and back to the floor. Let's do two more times here and exhale. Make sure those inner thighs are active, guys, and roll it up. So, as you come up, make sure the knees are not splashing up to the side. So, press the big toes down and engage your inner thighs. Parallel position. Press the arms down and lift the pelvis up to the highest point. Then we exhale, we soften the chest. We soften the ribs, we soften the lower back down to the floor, and then we bring our pelvis back to starting position. And one more time, exhale, we roll it up, up, right up to that bridge position. Press the arms down, lift the pelvis high and stay there. Lift the heels up, lift the pelvis a little bit more. Okay, now we're just going to Draw the right heel down, the pelvis stays. Just the right heel down. Lift the right heel up. Draw the left heel down. 
and then lift the left heel up, the right heel down. So just one heel, and then lift up the left, and then lift up the pelvis has a move, the right heel down, and then the left, and the left, and lift the left, and the right heel. Big toe pressing down, lift the heel, and the left heel down. And then left heel up, one on each side, right heel down. And right heel up, left heel down. And left heel up, hold, lower both heels down, the pelvis stays higher or goes higher, stay. Now, keeping the length of the spine, fold it through the hip joint, we lower the pelvis just off the floor, we're not articulating. And then we curl the pelvis and press up. So we fall through the hip, we lower the spine, and the pelvis down, neutral. Exhale, press up. And I will lower the pelvis, long spine, and then slight curl and press up. And lower. That's it, and slight curl and press up. So just a hip lift here, folding through the hip joint, and I'm lifting up through the hip joint. And folding through the hip joint down towards the floor, and curling up. Press up, two more, down, and then curling up, press up, last one, down, and curling up, press up, high, high, highest, then in breath, exhale, we roll down, vertebra by vertebra, we articulate down to the floor, all the way to your start position, brilliant girl. A little bit burning the pelvis there. And I'll lift one leg up to tabletop. Hold strong in your center. And second leg join. Hold strong in your center. Bring your feet together. 90 degree angle at the knee joint and at the hip joint here. Now stay there. We open the knee. Toes are still together. Exhale. Inhale. We open. Exhale. In breath, we open. Exhale. And open. Stabilize the pelvis. Exhale together. Two more. We open. Exhale. Last one. We open. Exhale. Let's open again. I need something. Hold. Now hold in that hip opener. Now we're going to lower the legs out as we breathe out. Stabilize the pelvis. Draw deep into that TBA. And then we bring it up, folding through the hip joint. And we lower as we exhale from the hip joint. And bring it up. Only go as low as your abdominal muscle can support the pelvis and the lower spine stability. And we go down as we exhale. Inhale, bring it up. If you have a glass of champagne on your pelvis, it shouldn't be spilling everywhere. Again, last one, down, that's it. And bring back up, brilliant. Legs together, slide your arms over to the T position, nice. Rotate towards me, please, when it's fine, please, fine. As we in breath, exhale, three waist line, bring your legs back to center. Over to you as you inhale, pelvis and legs rotate together. Exhale, come back. And towards me, please, in breath. Exhale, come back. And to you as we in breath. Exhale, come back. One more each side, please, as we in breath. Exhale, return. And last one here. Legs together, please. Exhale, come back. Okay, lower one foot down. Second leg down, parallel position, interlace your hands behind your head for the chest lead with arm variation. Breathe out, draw in the center, lift the spine up, gaze is forward towards your thigh, arms are forward, as you inhale, lift a little higher, exhale, come back behind your head and lower the chest down. Exhale, we'll lift, folding through the lower rib cage, inhale, reach forward and lift, up, that's it. And hold the extra leg, hands behind your head. And come back down. Again. Exhale. We'll lift. Arms forward, lifting up higher. 
and hold that knee high, hands behind your hips, and come on down. Last one, please. Exhale. Inhale, lift and reach. Arms back and come back down. Legs together, please. What we're going to do, we're going to rotate your legs a little bit to your right, but 20 degrees, legs together. We breathe up, we'll lift the chest. And then we take the arms forward, fingertips together. Then we take your arms behind your head and return the chest and the leg is still in rotation. Exhale, lift. Inhale, reach forward and lift higher. Arms behind your head and come back down. Exhale, so we are attacking here the left oblique, reach forward. You can come up higher. Arms back and reach down. One more. Exhale, lift. Inhale, reach up and come up a little higher. Hands behind your head and come back down. Bring the legs back to center and then slide over to your left about 20 degree knees together and we'll lift the chest. Inhale, reach. Hands back and come down. And exhale. Inhale, reach. Arms back. And come back down. So my knees are rotated to the left and come up. My hands are on the outside of my right thigh. And arms back. And come down. Last one, please, everybody. And we'll lift. Inhale, reach higher. And hands back behind your head. And come back down. Rotate your legs back to the center. Straighten the legs. We are going to do our roll-ups here. If you do need to move, use your legs. If you need to bend your knees, please go ahead and do so here. So, legs are together. I'm going to do the traditional one here. We inhale, come up to a nice chest lift, arms by the side. Then, pull in the center, bring yourself up, squeeze that inner thigh, take yourself into that beautiful C curve. A little variation, lift the spine up to a vertical alignment. Then, go back to that C curve position. Then, roll back. Get the sacrum down. Lower back down, arms by the side. Then, take your arms over your head. If the straight legs is a bit too challenging for you, please do bend your knees. And lift the head and the chest up, arms by the side. Grab the knees if you need to. And then, lift up and over into that C curve. All right, lift the spine up. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And into that C curve. And move the pelvis back from the hip joint. Onto that chest lift position. And the arms go over. Let's do two more times. Up into that C curve. Now here, draw the belly in. You bring the lower back to the floor. Switch on that hip flexor. Lift the spine into that C curve. We'll lift through the spine and nice and long here. Gorgeous. And into the C curve. Roll back. And arms overhead. Last one, everybody. And we we'll inhale to lift. Exhale. Come up into the C curve. Beautiful. Lifting through the spine. And we stay. Flex the feet, separate them, shoulder width apart for our spine stretch. Yup. All right, then take the arms forward. We round through the spine, roll forward. Now here, grab your ankles, lengthen the spine to a beautiful straight line, diagonal straight line. Thank you. Take the arms next to your ears. Then, round the spine and flex a little bit more forward than before. And then roll up. Starting position. And again, we roll down. Articulate the spine. Grab the ankles. And then lengthen through the spine, sending the crown of the head away from the tailbone and vice versa. 
Lift the arms next to your ears. So you are in a triangle position. Then round the spine. Roll up. Upright. Two more times. Exhale, round down. And forward. Grab the ankles. Lengthening through the spine. Reach up. All right, and arms to your ears. Then round forward again. Roll up, upright. Last one. Exhale, roll down. We're going to add a little bit shoulder flexion here. Take your hands on the ankle and lifting through the spine. Then, so engage your back muscle here, guys. Arms to your ears. We step. Pull the arms back for 10. Nine, eight, seven. Feel the energy of the spine upward to the sky. Three, two, one. We round the spine forward. We roll up to vertical position. Bring the legs together. Take your hands behind you. We're going to bend the elbows and rest on the elbows and bend the knees. All right, so forearm down, chest is open to my back muscles working, but my lower abs working, so I'm going to curl the pelvis under. Now, lift one leg up to tabletop. Second leg up to tabletop. I want you to press the arms firmly here and push up to your chest. Single leg stretch, please. And inside leg up. And change. And change. Beautiful guys. And three, three, two, two, one. One, bring the legs together again. Extend both legs straight up. Right leg comes down for the bicycle. Bring the right leg in, lower leg comes down, extend up. Left leg in and up. And bottom leg extend up. Bottom leg bend, the other one lower down. Bottom leg bend, and it's an up. It's a bit of a brain exercise here. And then bend, and it's step. And then bend, and it's step. Bend, and step. Bend, and step. One on each side. And the last one, stay. We reverse knee flexion. The top leg slide down, the other one comes up. Bend, slide down, and up. Bend, and up. We go, and then down, and then down, and then down, and then down, gorgeous, and we just call it the Broadway legs, isn't it? Looks like the Broadway, and then down, and then down, one more each side, last one, both legs comes up, bend both knees, lower one, lower two, turn your body face me, into a side bridge position. So we have shoulder elbow aligned, your feet aligned with your pelvis and arms to the side here. Ladies, this is too sexy for me. Bring it up. Thank you. <laughs> you're gonna lift up this underneath rib cage. We're gonna engage this oblique here. If you sink down this way, it's too much pressure in the shoulder joint and your shoulder's not gonna like you after this. So pull up, bring your under girdle to your heart. Pull up this way. All right, hold your obliques. Let's go, lift up for the side bridge. Now, we really, really need to switch on this muscle because we have a lot to go. And down, this is our base fundamental, not fundamental, the foundation of the next movement. And then down, beautiful. And then lift. Now, as you go down, I want you to resist the gravity. I don't want you to collapse down with the gravity. All right, two more. We'll lift. Beautiful. And lengthen down. Last one. We'll lift. Hold. Top hand behind. Extend the top leg long. All right, hold this top leg. We'll lift. And down. That's better. And again, out. And down, pelvis is stable. Your waistline is lifted up and down. Lift, 
and done. Think about the top elbow suspended up to the sky. And three. If this is too much for you, just come down and do this. Yeah, and then two more. And last one, come back, bring it in, come on down. Okay, side kick everybody, we're gonna straighten the legs. You have two options. You can stay in this forearm position, or you can join me in a triangle position, which demands a lot more stability here. You're gonna to have to lift the underneath side. If this is too tricky for you, please go ahead and go into the forearm position. Okay, guys, lengthen up, everybody. Top leg up, stabilize the center, dorsiflex, let's go forward. Exhale, inhale, double pass at the end. Exhale, inhale, lengthen up, exhale. You also want to think about opposition, energy, lifting, forward, forward, opposite, lift, lift. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, two more sets, inhale, last set, inhale, stay back, take the forearm down, support yourself, take the arm, top arm, next to you is rotate your trunk slightly, but stay in the extension here, can I see your faces ladies, bring the arms back, so I can see your faces, alright, and then lift the back leg up, and two, all the ten here and three. Reach your arms long and four. Gaze down to the floor. Five. Keep the neck long. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Look and then bring the leg back and then bend the knees. Come up to your mermaid position. Arms out. Gorgeous. All right. Let's go that way. Lengthen through the spine. Bottom hand down. Now we're going to pivot in the shoulder and the hip joint. Rotate your trunk. Arms to the side. Now here, you remove from the shoulder, move the arms down to the floor. So you are in rotated position, rotation, but keeping your spine straight. Take the arm out again to the side. Rotate back, face me. Engage both obliques. Come on up. All right, beautiful. Lean with control. And we rotate. Hands down. Engage the thoracic, the back. Lift up a little higher, perhaps. Open the arm up to the side. Rotate back. Face me. Coming up. We go one more time. And lengthen. Reach. Gorgeous. All right, rotate. And then come back. One second, pie out. You need to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, you need to go to the other side. So my front leg is in front of me. Okay, perfect, all right, let's go. Now, so you are in this extension position. Right, glide the shoulder blades down. What we're gonna do is spinal flexion. We're gonna round the back, pull back. And then we're gonna extend the upper spine, come up into more extension. Exhale, three more rounds. Inhale, extend. And exhale, round. Inhale, extend. One more. Exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Hold that extension. Open the arm up to the side here. Now we're not done yet. What we're going to do, guys, we are going to take the arm underneath your armpit. And rotate through to the back wall. That's it. Go as far as you can. Beautiful. And undo, unwind the spine. Arm up to the side. And rotate back, face me. Come on up. And then lateral side, or lateral bend over to the other side. That's it. And we got to do all over on the other side. Let's go. All right, so we have on our forearm, legs together, feet aligned with the pelvis, lengthen through the spine. And again, do not slash on me, please, ladies. Push up. That's it, thank you. And we go up, we we'll look. And we we'll lower. Obliques are working here, we we'll look. And we we'll lower. Make 
make sure your elbow and your shoulder is aligned here. And lift. So vertical alignment on the bottom arm. And down. Two more. And lift. When we go down, resist yourself from slouching. Lengthen opposite direction. Thank you. One more. Lift. Hold it. Hand behind. Straighten the top leg in line with the pelvis. And we'll lift up. We go down. We'll lift up. We go down. Strong in the bottom arm here. We go down. And we'll lift. We're going to work this pelvis. Lift up a little high, everybody. We slouch here. Let's go up higher. That's it. Beautiful, Jonah. Up and down. Up. Last two. Up. If this is too much, again, bring your pelvis up. Last one. Come down. Bring knees. Come on back. Straighten the legs for your side kick. So you can go on the forearm or the triangle position. All right, choose one. I believe the same one that you did before. All right, your, um, make sure you push the shoulder down and pull the arm into your heart, please. All right, reach up with the other elbow. Take the top leg up. All right, let's go, flex. Forward, exhale, inhale. Exhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, I see some of you slouching here. Make sure you don't go this way, guys. Please, back up, push up, forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Two more, inhale. Last one, inhale, back, hold. Forearm down, straight to the top arm. We'll take the body diagonally and we'll lift. Ten and nine, eight, seven, six. Push it low away. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold, bring your legs back and then bend both knees. Come up. Mermaid. All right, we are going to lean over the front leg side. So we're going to go over. High up, you need to do the other leg. Just switch your leg. That's it. Oh, gorgeous line. Look at that. Then we rotate. And then move the arm. Align with the other hand. Extend the back slowly. You engage your back muscle here. And then arm up to the side. Rotate back. Face me. And come on up. Okay, let's go. Lean away, place your hand. Now, pivot, bottom shoulder and the hip. Then the arm comes down, your back muscles active, you shine your sternum forward and up. Arm up to the side, rotate back. And come up. Again, two more. Lean, lengthen. More interesting. Rotate. Hand down. Engage the back. Arm up to the side. Rotate back to me. And coming up. One more. And lean. And rotate. Arm down. And we stay. Let's go into a spinal flexion. So we round the back. And then we extend. Extend the spine. And we pull back, round the back, use the dumbbell to curve the spine. And then we arch the spine up. And we round and extend. Up. One more. Round and extend. Up. Arm out to the side. Then we're going to loop the arm through and rotate to the back of the room, soften the other elbow. And we undo, unwind the spine, and then we rotate back. Face me. Good. And lateral side then over onto the other side. Brilliant. Come up, lift. Let's go onto a quadruped position. So on all four. 
align the shoulder and your wrist, knee, center of your hip, spine is in neutral position, drawing the abdominal up here to, come to some catch stretches. So we round the back. We extend, arch the upper back, maintain a longer spine. Exhale, round back. And through the neutral, inhale, extend up, upper spine. Two more. Exhale, round. Through the neutral, inhale, extend the upper spine. One more. And we go round in the back, push your palm away with your hands and shin. And then through the neutral, and extend the upper spine. And Come back to your neutral curve. And what we're going to do, bend the leg out, sorry, take the ankle out. I've got my left leg up here. So keep extension with the knee bend. So we lift up and fall through the hip. And I will lift up, stabilize the center and fall through the hip. And we lift and fall through the hip. And if you want to, you can extend the opposite arm forward as you lift and lower. You don't have to. You can have both hands down. Yeah. So if you want to, you can take it up. Give yourself a little bit of challenge in the balance. Two more. Look. And look. Last one. Look. And lower. I like this. But one more. Last one. Stay. Bring your hand back. Now what we're going to do here. Rotate your thigh out. Now just watch me. We're going to bring the leg behind you. And then take the same side arm off, and we're gonna reach out into little hip opener. That's it. So let me do that again. So we're going to take the knee out and arm open, and the back leg stays down. Exactly. Take a foot down to the floor and the tippy toe, and arch back. Stay here for five, four. Three, two, one, and come back, unwind yourself. The hand comes back to all four, the leg comes back to all four, and then bring it down. And now let's go to the other side. We go look and down. And two, I'm turning for the sake of the camera so you can see what's happening. And now, if you want to, you can take the opposite arm up and and left. That's it, ladies. And left. And down. Four more. Left. And down. Three. Left. And two. Left. Last leg. Hold. The head comes back. External rotate. Bring the leg behind you. Then the front, the same side arm, come up. Into an extension here. You bend the back knee, please. So the back knee is bent and place your toes down. That's it. Push up and stay for five, four, three, two, one. And unwind your spine back. Place your hand down. Leg come up and bring it down. Good. Awesome. Let's go on to our front. I'm going to turn this up. So let's go on to our front. On a prone position, legs are together, arms long, by the side here. Right, so we're going to do a back extension here. So engage your legs muscle, engage your abdominal muscle so your lower back is not sinking to the floor. We inhale, we glide the shoulder blades, we glide the arm, we lift the spine, upper spine to an extension. Open the arms to the T position, palms down. Arms back to the thigh and lower down. We inhale, we lift. Open the arms, exhale. And inhale, arms back. Exhale, come down. And inhale, lift. Arms up, exhale. Inhale, arms back. And exhale, return. One more. Inhale. 
arms up tree. Exhale. And come back down. Now what we're going to do, come up again. Look. Open arms to a T position. Right arm overhead, left arm down to your thigh. So you do little helicopter arms. Open back to T. And over the other arm up. And then back to the T. And rotate the arm. One up, one down. And palms facing down to the floor. And one up, and then one goes down. And up to the side. Right arm overhead, left arm down. Back to the T position. Left arm overhead, right comes down. Back to the T position, hold the extension of back. Right arm comes up, left down. Back to the T position. Last one, left arm comes up. Back to the T position. Bring both arms to the side of your body, a little, little higher. And come back down. Brilliant. Bring arms forward in front of you. All right. Now gather your shoulder blades, draw them down towards the middle part. Lift the upper spine into an extension. All right, so we're going to do some swimming here. A little variation. Right arm up, left leg up. And lower. Opposite, left arm up, right leg up. And lower. Your chest is nice and high in your middle back extension. And lower. And left arm, right leg. And lower. Right arm, left leg. And lower. Left arm, right leg. One on each side. Right arm, left leg. Last one. Come back in. Interlace the hand. Just lift the chest a little higher here. Thank you. For your single leg kick, legs together. Bring them off the floor. And we go right leg, left, and in breath, and in breath, and in out, and out. Then we lift the abdominal wall off the floor, ladies, and in breath, in breath, and exhale, and exhale, and in breath, and in breath. Last set. Stay, extend both legs long, squeeze them together. I said lower the chest down a little bit, open your arms to T position, bend the knees, grab the ankles. That's it. And lower the chest down for our rocking prep. Now gently press the pinky bone down to the floor, engage your hips, breathe, and lift the spine up, lift the thighs up, extend the knees up, and Come back down. Again, inhale. We lift the thigh, lift the back, lift the knee, lift up high, and come back down. Two more times. We inhale, lift up, lift the knees higher. Can I see the thighs on the floor, guys? I said, and come down. One more. Again, inhale. Articulate the spine upwards as you come up and lift the thigh high and come back down. Excellent. Release the legs, forearm to the side of your body, push off the floor, ground the back, sit back, bottom to your heels, press position. Take a moment here to breathe. Inhale and exhale. One more. And roll the spine, swing your leg in front of you. We go one more minute. Let's see. Let's go to back support and rolling on the ball. We're gonna go over time a little bit. So, have your legs slightly apart, hip width apart, hands behind you. If the straight leg is too much for you, you may go ahead and bend the knees for me. Just modify it if needed. All right, chest up. Okay. Here we go. Press the heels, lift up, come up to a beautiful straight line from the toes to the tip of your head. Fold into the hip and tip the pelvis just a little bit and bounce up again. So we're not resting down. Push up. And now fold into the hip, just touch it a little bit and bounce up again. No resting, lift. And in breath. And exhale, lift. And in breath. 
And exhale, lift. Can we have your fingertips facing your feet or to the side? And lower down, last one. And lift up, up, up. Brilliant. And come right back. Good job. Bend the knees, push your pelvis forward. Wrap the leg just above the ankles. We're going to do rolling like a ball. If those of you know, maybe not, um, seal puppy, you're welcome to do seal puppy at your own tiny. But we're going to do rolling like a ball here to finish. So we're going to take your feet off the floor. Use this bicep to walk the leg. Right? Balance on your tail, bone, feet are off the floor. Look down, round your back. Then you keep the shape, inhale, roll back to your shoulder. Exhale, we balance. We want to make sure you don't fling the legs and come back down. Now everybody, can we have your hands a little bit lower here? Just above the ankle. So that way you can actually press the leg closer towards you. If you're here, it's a bit hard for you to press and you have a tendency to fling the legs out. Right, shall we? Let's go six of this and we inhale. Do not feel the leg back. Exhale. Back. Thank you. Inhale. Walk the legs in. Exhale. Oh, no flinging. Inhale. If this is too much for you, just sit up and do some sequence. Inhale. Back. Exhale. Inhale. Back. Exhale. Look to the pelvis. And two more. Exhale. And last one. Exhale, exhale, stay. Can we balance for a moment? Your toes are still off the floor. And stay here. Inhale. Exhale. Calm your breath. Keeping the spine nice and long. Still in a round back position. In breath. Exhale. One more. In breath. And we lower the feet down. Open the knees, lifting through the spine. Take the arms forward. Take an in breath to elongate the spine up to the sky. Then we exhale, we roll down all the way towards the floor. Stay down here on an inhale. Exhale, we gather the thumb and roll up to an upright position. One more time, inhale, feeling the energy of the spine upwards to the sky. Exhale, softening through the joints of the spinal column as you roll down. And a deep fold in the hip joint as you bring your body closer to the floor. In breath. We exhale and we roll up again. And we take ourselves to a beautiful vertical alignment. We in breath. And we exhale. Settle ourselves back to the Thank you. Beautiful work. Beautiful work, everybody. Gorgeous. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Sunday. Thank you for watching and completing the class. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my seven day beginner challenge. Click the first link in the comment below and sign up. You will receive daily workout videos Focus on building a sustainable practice in as little as 15 minutes per day. This is for all levels as everyone can gain a deeper understanding of the Pilates fundamentals. If you enjoy my work, please like, comment and subscribe and turn on notification so you do not miss any of my free classes and programs. See you on the mat tomorrow.